through time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, yet to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. blood off your hands, washing your blood off your hands and being clean, saying I'm absolving myself from the blood of this wicked person. If we come out here and do our job and warn that wicked person from their wicked ways, we deliver the blood off our hands. But if we don't say a damn thing, if you, we allow you to be wicked and to show yourself to be wicked, now the blood is on our hands and the Most High is going to require that blood from us. You can't sit up here and be idle. That's why when it says, when you love your neighbor, which is your brother, another Israelite, you should not suffer sin upon him. Right. That's a law. Don't be, let's get it. Give me uh, Leviticus 19. Right? Let's get, let's get that. I'm, I'm going to go right to you. Oh. Let's get Leviticus 19. I think that's 17. Thou shalt not suffer sin upon thy neighbor. Right? I can't allow you to stay in sin. I'm going to tell you put some fringes on. I'm going to tell you to stop eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. I'm going to show you that homosexuality is an abomination according to the God that you say you serve. I'm going to show you how when you come back to this law, such as the commandments, you could be a righteous saint of the Most High uh, ordained you to be. Many are called, but few are chosen. Two-thirds are going to still be put to death, and they're going to live the lifestyle they want to live. And you know what? We can't do nothing about it, but we can warn you. Right? We can warn you, but if you guys are going to be obedient, hey, I'm not going to lose no sleep. Right? I'm going to come back and save my father. Get that. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Come on. Thou shalt in no, in, so like in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So we got to rebuke our neighbor. The Bible of Proverbs 27 and 5 says, open rebuke is better than secret love. And faithful are the wounds of a friend, right? Come on. And not suffer sin upon him. Come on. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. But it says, Thou shalt not suffer sin upon them, which is your neighbor. How y'all doing? Y'all got some questions? They want to know the true image of Jesus Christ. Let's give them the true image of Jesus Christ, right? So so growing up, right? Are you what's your, what's your, are you guys religious? So growing up, what, what's your denomination? Christian? You too? Christian? What, is, what does it mean to be a Christian? Give me um, Acts 13 and 1. What does it mean to be a Christian? And how? And he said to respect God and what else? And respect the other people. Did Christ do that? Did Christ respect other people? All right, we're going to show you. So, so before we do that, what's the image of Jesus Christ? How did he look? He wasn't white. So what color was he? What color are the Jews? Okay, so so they were a darker skinned people. So is it safe to assume that the Jews are black? Okay, so let me show you the, the image of Christ. It's the book of Revelation starting at the top. The revelations of Jesus Christ. So what does it mean? What does revelation mean? You seem like a smart person, right? What does revelation mean? It means like the coming of knowledge. To reveal. That's the root word, right? Reveal. All right, now go down to verse uh, 14. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. Real quick, what is the image of Jesus Christ in your Google? If you Google Jesus Christ, what's going to come up? A white man. A white man, right? And who made that person white? White people. White people, right? All right, read on. Was that right that they did that? No. Give it to uh, Shu. Give, give it to the brother Shu right there, right? And, and the red white. His head and his hair were white like wool. His head and his hair was what? White like wool. So is Jesus Christ, when you watch the Passion of the Christ, is he white woolly hair? No, right? Read. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet 
like unto fine brass, uh -huh. as if they were burned in a furnace. You're right. Look at that man right there. Look at him right there. No, 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 right here. That's the image of Christ right there. Right. A dark man, white woolly hair. Read on. And his voice as the sound of many words. That means he had a powerful voice. He didn't need this mic. Right? When he spoke, he spoke with authority. He was an austere man according to the Bible. And guess what? Your forefathers, your family members would have murdered him in antebellum south. Right? For speaking the words of God. You agree with that? All praise to the Most High. Now you say you're a Christian, right? Christian means to be a, a follower of Christ. Right? Watch this. Acts 13 and 1. This is above Acts chapter 13, verse 1. Uh -huh. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophet and teachers uh -huh. as Barnabas and Simeon. That was called nigger. That was called what? Nigger. That was called what? Nigger. It was called nigger, right? The first Christians were called nigger, right. which means going back to a dark-skinned people, right? So, so to call yourself Christian, right? You would have, you would first give me, um, um, uh, give me the book of Hebrews seven and fourteen. You got to be an Israelite to even be called a Christian. You can't be a follower of Christ because Christ. Give me uh, Matthew fifteen twenty-four. Who did Christ come for? Let's see that. Let's see what Christ said out of his own mouth. Right? I'm going to show you. And what makes you say all of us? Because he died for everybody. You say what? He died for everybody's sin. What, what verse can you can you show us that? Um, I got to pull it up. All right, if you pull it up, hold on, because she's not going to listen to this if she's pulling it up. Right? We're going to do everything decently and in order. She said Jesus Christ died for everybody, and we're going to find a scripture that says that. Right? Give me that in Hebrews 7, 14. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. Uh -huh. For it is evident. It is what? It is evident. It is very evident. Come on. That our Lord sprang out of Judah. Out of where? Out of Judah. So Judah is one of the 12 tribes of Israel, right? Judah is the scepter when you go to Genesis 49, right? We know that. Of which tribe Moses spank nothing concerning priesthood. Because that goes to the kingship, right? Christ came from the tribe of Judah. Are you from the tribe of Judah? No, right? According, what's your nationality, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, what nation of people you come, your father? England. England? Oh, he'd be like a Caucasian, right? Okay, so the, what we teach is the Caucasians go back to a man named Esau, right? right? You would be an Edomite, not an Israelite. You would be a, he, a Hebrew Edomite, right? The, the, the arch nemesis and the twin brother, the evil twin of Jacob, our forefather. This is why black people and white people have been at war since the womb, literally since the womb. When you go back to the womb, Rebecca said, why am I thus? And they said, two nations are in thy womb and two manner of people. That's right. 1 Corinthians 15, 3. First, first Corinthians, oh, real quick, real quick. Hold on. Let's get this in uh, Matthew 15, 24, and then we're going to get your first Corinthians. Did, 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 did Paul die for you or did Jesus Christ die for you? <laughs> Paul died for you? You said Paul died for you? So who died for you, Jesus Christ or Paul? Jesus, so let's get the words of Christ. Read that. Just the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. Uh -huh. But he answered and said. So Christ answered and said. Come on, well, let's start at 22. Right. Just the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 22. And behold, a woman of Canaan uh -huh. came out of the same coast. So a woman of Canaan is not an Israelite. She's a, she's a Hamite. Right. right? Come on. And cried unto him, saying, Come on. Have mercy on me, O Lord. He said, what? Have mercy on me, O Lord. That is asking for mercy, read. Thou son of David, my daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he answered her not a word. So the lady asked Christ for some kind of help, and he didn't even respond to her. Is that the Jesus Christ that you know? No? So, so, so what Christ do you know? Because the, the Bible we're reading, he said he didn't answer her a word. God doesn't answer everybody's prayers and requests. <laughs> I agree with that. But right here, Christ didn't answer her a word. Is that the Jesus Christ that you know? Honestly, yes. Okay, read on. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, send her away. Even his disciples, the Christians said, send this lady from Canaan away, another nation. Read. For she crieth after us. Uh -huh. But he answered and said, I, but I am not sent unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He said what? But I, un but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Come. This is Matthew chapter 15, verse 24.
But he answered and said, I, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Did Christ come for everybody else or for the Israelites? Primarily, did he say primarily or he said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel? Yes. So, so who did Christ die for? Israelites. Okay, so where do you get the idea that he came for everybody? Are you an Israelite? Give me Matthew 121. We're going to get your first Corinthians, right? Give me Matthew 121. We're going to get the words of the man who actually died as opposed to Paul first, right? Let's get, uh, let's get Christ's words. Let's get the angel that came to Joseph and Mary. Read that. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 21. Uh -huh. And she shall bring forth a son, uh -huh. and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. He shall save his people from their sins. So Christ came to save his people, Israelites, from their sins. How do you reconcile that? Okay, let's read the verse again. I'm asking you to reconcile two scriptures. Christ said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. House means family. So all the Israelites is talking about. And then Matthew 121, an angel, a messenger of God is saying this. Read it again. This is the book of Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. He shall save his people, not all people, his people, the nation of Israel. So I, I, I need you to reconcile that. Essentially what you're saying is that Caucasian people should not be Christian. I didn't say that. I said Christ died for the nation of Israel. But then again, you were also giving me scriptures that are primarily based on Israel and saying that he saved them and not other people. Other you have families. to show us, where, okay, so, so you're saying that he died for all nations now? For all nations. I'm saying that you were giving scriptures based on the fact that saying he only saved the Israelites. That's he right. He only cared about the Israelites. That's right. Whatsoever. That's right. But at the same time, you're eliminating um, the entirety of the denomination of Christianity to only being recognized towards the Israelites. That's what that's what the Bible teaches. But there's different translations of the Bible all over the world. And then, every translation, every translation is going to say the same thing. Every translation, ESV, NIV. In NLT is going to say the same thing that Christ died for one nation and one nation of only the Israelites. All right, hold on, hold on. We're going to do everything in order. So let's let's be fair, right? Let's get First Corinthians. Was it fifteen and three? Let's get it. Got it. Bring it out. This is book of First Corinthians, chapter fifteen, verse three. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received. How that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. So what's your, what's your breakdown on that? He died for our sins. It doesn't give anybody a denominator. Like, yes, he saved the Israelites. Yes, he did that. But at the same time, this is a different area. Are you saying that if a person is mixed with an Israelite, they only deserve half the credit for it? Nobody's mixed. There are many you are mixed who your people. father is. No, you can be. You, can, you be. can have a white mother and you can have an Israelite of a father. If you have an Israelite father, you are an Israelite. If you are, if your forefathers are Israelites, it's not by the mother. The father gives you the X, Y, and chromosome, correct? Yes. So you get that from your father, right? You get your DNA from who? Your father. And your mother. You, you get your, hold on, you get your nation by who? Your father. Can we show you that? Give me Numbers 1 and 18. Come on, bring it out. This is the book of Numbers chapter 1, verse 18. Don't get mad. She says she's pissed. Don't get mad. We're just showing you the Bible. Don't get mad at the Bible, right? Read. And they assembled all the congregation together on, on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees. So what's a pedigree? A pedigree is a chart of your like, ancestors. Your bloodline, right? So they, they declared their bloodline, their pedigree, read. After their families. Uh -huh. hold on, hold on. By the house of their fathers. I'm listening. By, by the way you speak. They said that their bloodline is decreed by their fathers. By their fathers, mm -hmm. right? So you can't be mixed. You can't, you, you can be mixed, but you are who your father is. Right. We have Israelites that have white mothers that have Israelite fathers. That happens all the time, right? But you're, you can't get half the salvation. It don't work like that. It goes right back to who your father is. If your father's an Israelite, you are an Israelite. If your father's a Caucasian, you're not an Israelite. 
right? You are uh, an Edomite more than likely. We're not, we're not going by skin tone or by hair color or none of that. We're going by bloodline, right? Because if I look up Patrick Mahomes, you know, the, the quarterback, his, his child looks like you, right? Blake Griffin, their child look like you. But they are Israelites. The children are Israelites. It's not about how you look. It's about who your father goes back to. I'll give you the reverse side. Bob Marley, he's not an Israelite, but he looks like us. Bob Marley is actually a, a, a Melekite. He's an Edomite from the house of Amalek. Lenny Kravitz? Lenny Kravitz. But what? at the same time, if you break it back to Adam and Eve, hey, we were all derived from the oh, Yeah, the that's fine. How would that go to say Tracy we are not Tracy all Ellis. No, no, he made a covenant with the nation of Israel. It's not, a, it's not about we are all coming from Adam. We can get that and give me um, uh, Syrac 6, right? You all come from Adam. That's true. Great, right? And then after that, he made a covenant with a nation of people, right? So let's go back to your first Corinthians 15, because I want to ask you, who were the Corinthians that Paul was writing to? They were Israelites. They were Israelites. So, when he, so read it again for her. Read it again, first Corinthians 15 and 3. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that. Who was the you that he's talking to? The Israelites. The Israelites, come on. Which I also received. How that Christ died for our sins. Who was the hour? The Israelites, come on. According to the scriptures. According to what? According to the scriptures. So when you go into the pro the prophecies, you'll see that Christ is supposed to die for the nation of Israel. Does that make sense? So so your uh, your first Corinthians 15 and 3 only proves our point that he died for the nation of Israel. Right? Let's get the uh first Corinthians 15. Let's go back. Hold on, let's go right back to First Corinthians 15. Right? And let's see who Paul wrote the letter to. And then let's get, uh, go back to the first chapter. The first chapter. First Corinthians uh, chapter 1. All right, give me uh, the verse number 2. Watch this. This is the book of First Corinthians. You listening? All right, just pause real quick. Pause real quick. I'm going to show you something. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 2. So now, now the, 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 the letter of, Co of Corinthians is a letter, right? It's an epistle that Paul wrote to the church in Corinth. So it's, it's, it's a, like if I wrote you a letter, she can't read it. And, and, and I, what's your name? Katie. If I wrote a letter I said to Katie, and I wrote all these things to Katie, no one else can read it and apply it to them, correct? Like you get letters in the mail, from the government or the state, and they want you to pay money, right? Your mother, whoever, if it's, if your name's on there, right, no one else can say, oh, this applies to me. That's a federal offense, right? So when you make these letters that Paul wrote for everybody, it's a federal offense. Now we're gonna show you who Paul wrote to. Verse two. Unto the church of God. Unto the church of God. So in the Greek, what does the word church mean? I'll help you out, it's iglesia. Right, or ecclesiastical, right? When you break that word down, it only means synagogue. What nation or who's identified with synagogues? Jews, right? So Paul was writing to a, a, a synagogue in Corinth. Read on. Unto the church of God, uh -huh. which is at Corinth. Which is where? At Corinth. So the church of God is at Corinth. The synagogue in Corinth. You gotta understand, Katie, that the Israelites were scattered throughout all parts of Greece, right? right? Read on. To them that are sanctified in, Je in Christ Jesus. Right. And sanctification means set apart, separate. So them that are separate from the other nations, come on. Called to be saints. Called to be what? Called to be saints. So according to the scriptures, who are the saints? The Israelites, we can go back right back to Psalm 50 and 5. The saints are the ones that made a covenant with God by sacrifice. Right. So Katie, what nation of people made a covenant with God by sacrifice? Jew, no, not just Jews, Israel, all 12 tribes, very important. So when we read 1 Corinthians, the beginning tells you it's talking to a nation of people that is in Corinth. Does that make sense? So 1 Corinthians, that whole chapter, that whole book is for who? It's for Israel. There you go. So let's give her a hand. At least she's admitted that the book of 1 Corinthians goes back to who? The Israelites. So when, when Paul says us, our, and, and salvation, he's talking to who? Israelites. All right, so now you got something else. I would also like to bring up the point of an article that I was reading actually the other day because I came across another group that was similar to yours. 
Okay. It says. Um, what, what's the what's the what, who made the article? It was a um, I, I can't say the name of it, but it was a Baptist church. It was a who? A Baptist church. A Baptist church. You don't know the name of the church? No, sir. Okay. All right. Go ahead. It says any serious biblical study of race or ethnicity should start in Genesis one. Can you speak up? Any serious biblical study of race or ethnicity should start in Genesis one. The Bible does not start off with the creation of a special privileged race of people. Whenever the human being is created, he's simply called Adam, which is Hebrew for human pride, human kind. Adam, Adam and Eve are not Hebrews or Egyptians. Well, I agree with that. They are neither white nor black nor even Semitic. The, I agree with that. Their own particular ethnicity is not even mentioned. But the Bible seems they are the mother and father of all peoples and all ethnicities. Adam, Adam and Eve are even presented as non-ethnic and non-national because they represent all, all people of all ethnicities. In Genesis 1 26, God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. So stop right there. When he said, let us make man in our image, was that talking about Adam and Eve? He was talking about God. We are talking about Jesus. No, when, no, when God said, let us make man in our own image, that was not talking about Adam and Eve. No. Adam and Eve was created later. So, so mankind, hold on, mankind was created and then Adam and Eve was created after him. So this, this article that you're reading is, contra is contradicting the Bible. Because the Bible says, let us make man in our own image. They made man on one of the days and then the next day they made Adam and Eve. Right. So Adam and Eve was not the first person on the earth. No, it says he created them male and female in the image of God relates to one or more of the following. Share with God and the appointment of humankind as God representatives on earth and the capacity to relate to God. Yet, what is clear is that being created in the image of God is a spectacular blessing. It is what distinguishes people from animals. Likewise, whether or not the image of God for all people was married, mar marred, or blurred in the blurred in the fall of Genesis, it is clear that they are the least people that still carry some aspect of image of God. This this Any, gives uh, humankind a very this gives humankind a very special status in creation. Sorry. Furthermore, as mentioned above, Adam and Eve are ethnically generic, representing all ethnicity. Thus, the Bible is very clear in declaring the beginning that all people of all races and ethnicities should carry the image of God. Okay. All right. So, when we understand what you just read, it's definitely contradicting the Bible. Because Adam and Eve had Cain and Abel, right? And then Cain, Cain killed Abel, correct? Who came after that? What children, what child came after that? His name was Seth, right? Seth was the one that like, literally made the nations out of Seth. Now, when Cain killed Abel, Cain went out and married somebody. Who did Cain marry? Cain had to have a wife. Did he marry his mother? Adam and Eve was not the only people on the earth. That's what we're saying. The Bible don't say that, right? So let's get that in Acts 5.29. Real quick, real quick. Let's get that in Sirach 6 and 54. Second entrance. Second entrance. That's what I want. Second entrance six. Because you said we all come from Adam. That's fine. But I'm going to show you that the Most High fil literally filtered out the other nations and chose one nation of people. You can't discredit the Bible because of what this article you're reading says. Right? Guys can be wrong. The Most High said, let God be true and every man alive. Read that. This is the book of Second Entrance, chapter six, verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, uh -huh. of him come we all. So Adam was made Lord of all creatures, and we all come from Adam, correct? We agree with that, right? We all agree with that. Cool. We don't. And the people whom, select, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. So you got the people that come from Adam, and then he's saying, you also got the people who thou hast chosen. Who did God choose? No, no. no the Israel though, yeah. the Most High chose Israel. Yeah. So he's telling you, you got distinctions of people. You have people that came from Adam, which we all come, and then also in that group of people, you also have the people that God has chosen, which are the Israelites. We know. All this have I spoken before thee. Oh, they're not listening. They're not listening. Let them listen. Oh. We want to make sure this hits. Trying to find a lifesaver. We know. All this have I spoken before thee, uh -huh. O Lord. Be because thou madest the world for our sake. As for the other people, as for the other people, right? The non-Israelites, read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which also come from Adam. Yeah, the other people, they come from Adam. You agree to that, right? Read. Thou hast said, 
that they are nothing. That they are nothing. That they are nothing. What did God just say? That they are what? That they are nothing. Come on. But be like unto spittle. Spittle. Spit. Spit. Right? So the, the most high God compared the other nations that's not Israelites to spittle. That's spit. Read. And has likened the abundance of them. So the abundance. All of them. Right? Read. Until a drop that falleth from a vessel. So what we're saying, and what the Bible is saying, is contrary to what that guy is saying, that, that Baptist church that you're reading from. Now read this, Acts 5 and 29. Okay, I'm going to have to cut this short. We all have different Well, this is not a religion. That's the problem. You made it a religion. This is a culture, a book of culture. This is heritage. When you go into the lineage of Jesus Christ, it gives you a lineage, a patrilineal lineage of a man named Jesus Christ. There's a book called Chronicles that goes into the history of the people of this book. And y'all don't qualify for those people in this book. I got, I, I'm going I'm to read one more than y'all can go. Read this. This is the book of Acts chapter 5 verse 29. Come on. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. We got to obey God rather than an article or anything that any man says. You got to go back to an article. Okay. I respect okay. y'all. Okay. The, the God of our fathers ra raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Come on. Him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince, be a prince and, a, and a savior for to give repentance to Israel, to Israel, to Israel, to Israel, and forgiveness of sin. Forgiveness of sins and repentance only goes to who? Your religion has failed you, Katie, right? Your religion has told you that God sent Jesus Christ to die for everybody. We read like five verses. That, that's contradicting to what you believe in is. Well, I do respect your opinion and your laws okay. on the Bible. Okay. We all come from our own areas. We that's all fine. Have our own but you have to come however, with some facts. However, uh -huh. however, I had no time for prepare, to prepare. Meanwhile, you, you got Google. Google. Uh, -uh, uh uh. You got Google no, though. No, Google doesn't give me time to prepare. So, so why aren't you always ready? The Bible says be ready to give an answer. Why aren't you ready? If you're a Christian, you gotta always be ready. Uh -uh. You're not a real Christian. That's the problem. You are no. You are you are a fake Christian. That's the problem. Because if you were a Christian, you'd be ready to give an answer. Right? We come out here and do this all the time, Katie. We do this week in and week out. We do this three times a week. This is why the real Christians are here, right here. Right? You can get mad all you want to, Katie, but you know what? You're not gonna come against the man of the Lord. That's right. up. Bring it out. Read it, Mighty. This is the Book of John, chapter four, verse twenty-two. Ye worship ye now, no, not what? We know what we worship. For salvation is up. For salvation, for salvation, for salvation, for salvation. For salvation is for who? Is of the Jews. Is of who? Is of the Jews. For everybody? Is of the Jews. Salvation is of the Jews. You gotta study if you wanna come up here and go with us. You wanna come in your Iowa's cat, you gotta be ready. You can't come up here with that Google scholarship. It's not going to work for you. Guess what? We study for people like you. We eat people like you for breakfast. If you're bedroom, we eat and chew it up and spit it out. Spit it out, man. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 147, verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob. Unto who? Unto Jacob. Most I only showed his word to Jacob. You Esau, we his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. Unto who? Unto Israel. Unto Israel, we. He have not dealt so with any nation. Read that again. He have not dealt so with any nation. So I said he ain't dealing with every nation, read. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. They have not known the judgments. Well, how do you reconcile what we just read? It don't matter to you. Go ahead. Uh -huh. How was that rule? We're, we're dialoguing. Right. When the word comes out, everybody got to be quiet. These guys has been quiet the whole time. Uh, yeah, y'all should go ahead and go and study. 
Don't study if you want to come up here and battle doctrines, right? You can be mad all you want to, right? But lesbianism is going is, is, is a bit is abomination. The wicked you lesbians are going to be destroyed in these last days. That's right. I can try to read behind you is a dick, man. Right? You can't be a lesbian and try to contend with the words of the Lord. That's right. Right? Because the most high said, let God be true and every man a liar. So when you want to have your biblical scholarship, Come back here and deal with us like the Bible says to, man. Contend for the faith. That's right. right? All praise to the most high. Hey, we go to war like lions out here, man. We're gonna roar like lions out here. Right. You're not gonna come up here and try to water down our studying week in and week out with some scholarship from some guy in a Baptist church. Bring that Baptist pastor here and have him contend for the faith. Right. You notice that she went to the article and never went to the Bible. She went to Paul and never went to the words of Christ. Right. Show me the real Christians, you Paulites. Right? All y'all believe is this Paul and the Archbishop of your Catholic Church, man. Right? The Most High said, let God be true and every man a liar. You can't contend with the words of the Lord or his son, Yahweh Shai, man. Right? That's the problem with these people, these watered down Christians. They come out here with their pseudo intellect and their pseudo doctrines. And they want to be lesbians and transgenders and love every goddamn body. The Most High should have told her to brush her yellow teeth, man. That was the problem, man. She like she been eating shit and damn butter sticks all damn day, man. Right? And look, her doctrine had butter sticks and shit all in her damn doctrine, man. Right. 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 Right.